thank you so much for tuning in welcome 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 so today is for the grade 11s and we are going to be doing photosynthesis it's going to be a short video because photosynthesis is relatively a simple process well after this video you'll see that it's simple <laughs> so yeah um don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe you know the usual tell everyone to tune in so yeah let's get started okay so first things first you need to know that photosynthesis happens in the chloroplast so i have drawn out a simple structure of the chloroplast and if you forgot what the chloroplast is or where the chloroplast is a chloroplast is a structure found on the leaf on the leaves of plants so yeah just a quick reminder you did that in grade 10. okay now what is this photosynthesis you probably have heard of photosynthesis before in earlier grades photosynthesis is basically the conversion of light or radiant energy into chemical energy which is starch so it's basically in simplified you know simplified terms is basically the process of turning light energy into sugar glucose which is food for the plant and food for us <laughs> so yeah these are the requirements of photosynthesis radiant energy the or the sun carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and enzymes and then i'm gonna show you how all of that result in glucose and oxygen okay so first things first photosynthesis has two phases the light phase and the dark phase the light phase happens in the grana or the thylakoid that is where the light phase happens i'm just gonna write there light phase So in the grana or the thylakoids, you find chlorophyll and chlorophyll is what traps the sun. Yeah, chlorophyll traps the sun and some of that energy from, um, some of that energy from the sun is used to make ATP and then the other energy, like the rest of the energy that is um, absorbed from the sun is used to break down water into hydrogen molecules and oxygen molecules these hydrogen molecules are going to be used in the dark phase and the oxygen molecules are they are released into the atmosphere so that is basically the light phase in a nutshell and then we have the dark phase. The dark phase happens in the stroma. Okay, yeah. So here in the stroma, carbon from the carbon dioxide that is taken in the plant and the hydrogen that comes from the light phase is combined and then that gives us glucose so that is what happens in the dark phase see simple it's very simplified in grade 11 but if you go to study further if you go on to study further then <laughs> you'll realize that it's not that simple but yeah for you guys you just need to know that there's two phases you need to know where they happen you need to know the the requirements of each phase and what they result in so see pretty simple that is photosynthesis you need to know that photosynthesis is a very important process and in my opinion the most important process because without photosynthesis then every like all of us won't have food because we get our food either from plants or from animals and animals some of them eat plants yeah so ultimately photosynthesis is responsible for all of our food 
and then secondly photosynthesis plays a role in mainta maintaining the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere so without photosynthesis the carbon dioxide that is taken in would be in the atmosphere and we would not have any oxygen because oh well we would have oxygen but a lot of the oxygen that we get is from photosynthesis so photosynthesis is pretty important and then you need to know that there are three factors that influence photosynthesis and that is the rate of carbon dioxide light intensity and temperature those are the three factors that influence the rate of photosynthesis this graph you can see that with an increase of carbon dioxide concentration the rate of photosynthesis also increases however there is a limit so if the concentration of carbon dioxide goes above that limit then the rates of photosynthesis will decrease so we can also say that carbon dioxide is a limiting factor okay this graph also shows that with an increase in temperature the rate of photo photosynthesis increases again there's a limit so the optimum temperature for photosynthesis is 25 degrees and we can sort of say that is this peak I'm sorry for using my finger. Anyways, yeah, that is the peak, 25 degrees. So a temperature that is higher than that, therefore decreases the rate of photosynthesis. So again, temperature is also a limiting factor. And then light intensity. So this graph shows the rate of photosynthesis over light intensity. So with an increase in light intensity, photosynthesis also increases but in this graph they showed us um on like the rate of photosynthesis where the temperature is optimum and where the temperature is lower so you see if a plant if there's optimum temperature and there's an increase in light intense in light intensity then the rate of photosynthesis increases but at a limit so as you can see on this graph irrespective of what it increases as afterwards um the rate of photosynthesis stays constant so there's a limit in the optimum light intensity so those are our three factors okay just to sum up everything you need to know that photosynthesis happens in the chloroplast you need to know that photosynthesis has two phases the light phase and the dark phase and these names sort of like explain the like the phases in a way the light phase happens in the light there has to be light it is dependent on light it is a light dependent phase and the dark phase is a light independent phase so it happens in the dark so yeah that's just um that what else I oh yeah and those those three factors carbon dioxide i mean factors that affect the rate of photosynthesis carbon dioxide light intensity temperature and they also can be limiting factors if they are too high like if the temperature is 50 degrees then the rate of photosynthesis will decrease because the plants will be under too much heat stress so just also remember that those factors can be limiting factors what else i think I think I mentioned yeah I think I mentioned everything okay anyways thank you so much for tuning in guys I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to ask any questions if you do have don't forget to like this video and to subscribe thank you so much bye ladies